Okay. So we have seen uh, this simulation. We have calculated the value of I one as nine ampere, I two as two point five ampere, and I three as two ampere. And we have got the same readings in simulation: nine ampere, two point five ampere, and two ampere. And the current through three ohm resistance, which we have found out as point five ampere. So we are getting exactly as five hundred milli ampere. Okay. So same. values we got now we'll go for next numerical yes 2.49 numerical find the current flowing through 3 ohm resistor in the network so this network is given to you and we we want to find uh, current through this 3 ohm resistor is it 3 ohm or something else it is 5 ohm resistor we have to find the current in the 5 ohm resistor so this 5 ohm resistor in which we want to find the current again if you will find there are dependent Uh, independent voltage source independent current source and resistances are there this current source is not at the outer side of the loop but it is common between two meshes it is common between mesh 2 and mesh 3 we have assumed that this is mesh 1 carrying current i1 in clockwise direction this is mesh 2 carrying current in clockwise direction as i2 and this is mesh 3 carrying current i3 in clockwise direction so between this mesh 2 and 3 this current source is common so as it is common between two meshes this will form a super mesh so for this super mesh we can write the current equation from this one which is a current equation we can write and the current flowing through this in 2 ampere direction i2 is flowing so it will be i2 minus i3 equal to 2 will be equation from this current current equation you will get 1 then another equation you can apply kvl for this super mesh which i have marked in red so which is 5 ohm 10 ohm 2 ohm and 1 ohm resistance so minus 5 into current minus 10 into current minus 2 into current minus 1 into current so you can find second equation from this and third equation you can find by applying kvl to this loop which is not common in the super mesh so this is the simple mesh so you can apply directly kvl for this mesh so we'll get three equations Three unknowns. You can solve these equations to get I one, I two, and I three. So by applying KVL to mesh one, we'll get this fifty plus fifty, then minus ten into I one minus I two, minus five into I one minus I three equal to zero. Simplify this. Club all the terms of I one together. Club all the terms of I two together. Club all the terms of I three together, and constants on. Another side, so you will get 15 i1 minus 10 i2 minus 5 i3 equal to 50. Let us say this is equation number one. Then mesh two and three they are forming super mesh. So you can write one current equation from this. That is i2 minus i3 equal to 2 ampere. Let us say it is equation number two, and you can get one equation by applying KVL to this. Super mesh, so you'll get minus ten i two minus i one minus two i two minus one i three and minus five 
I3 minus I1 equal to 0. Simplify this equation. Club all the terms of I1 together, I2 together, I3 together and constants on another side. So you will get minus 15 I1 plus 12 I2 plus 6 I3 equal to 0. Let us say this is equation number 3. So you can solve this equation 1, 2 and 3 by using calculator to get I1 as 20 ampere, I2 as 17.33 ampere and I3 as 15.33 ampere. And we are asked to find current through this 5 ohm resistor, I1 and I3. Two, two currents are flowing through this resistor. The value of I1 is more, so I will take current flowing through 5 ohm resistor I5 is equal to I1 minus I3. That is 20 minus 15.33. So I will get it as 4.67. So I have simulated this. The short link of simulation I have given it to you. You can put this in your browser so that you will get this circuit directly, ready-made circuit which I have already built in the uh, software with this short link. So you can directly access from your location also. And I have implemented the same circuit having 50 volt battery, 10 ohm resistor, 5 ohm resistor. 2 ampere current source, 3 ohm resistor, 2 ohm resistor, 1 ohm resistor. And I have measured all the three currents, I1, I2 and I3 between these three meshes and I have got the results as 20 ampere, 17.33 ampere and 15.33 ampere exactly same as that of we have calculated. And we were asked to find current flowing through 5 ohm resistor so here also I have connected one ammeter and it is giving me 4.667 ampere reading and the same reading we have calculated. So I hope you understood this and I think we are uh, running out of time. So we may disconnect. So we will uh, stop here today for this theory lecture for practical, again I will be uh